There's no toilet in here. I've been lied to. Oh, there's a toilet. Oh, God. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. So last time we figured out that Miss Sanderson was murdered and we had accused Charlie of it, but apparently he was wrongfully, um, wrongly accused and Larry has nowhere to been seen and apparently we're on trial for, I'm assuming, Miss Anderson's death and then here we are. Which didn't make sense to me because we had just moved in the day before Miss Sanderson was, you know, there. Doesn't make sense, does it? We had an alibi, damn it. Oh, hi, Ma. Don't wander off so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please? Can I go pet the doggy? Oh, all right, Sal. Just give me a few seconds. Um, give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go to that together. Yay! I'll walk over there by the trees. Over here by the trees? Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I just want to pet the doggy. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Wait, how far over here by the trees were we going? Because this is pretty far by the trees. Hey, we're in the trees now, Sal. Our mom is not with us holding our hand. Oh, what if it was like a wolf and it killed her and like chewed off our face? Oh, God. I, I think I might have been right. It was a dog accident, or wolf, or coyote, you know. Help! My face is bleeding. It's bleeding off. Oh, there's a purse. There's a collar. There's a bones. More bones. Oh. Oh, and we're entering the ambulance. Who are you? Thank you for so much for coming to help me out with the toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have to un unplugged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned to, into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Larry? You did it. But we're not Larry, we're Sal. Okay. There's no toilet in here. I've been lied to. Oh, there's the toilet. Oh, God. Toilet from hell. Climb up. Or go over here. Hi, pony. You there. Please help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please hurry. Do I know how to fix this? Because I don't know how to fix this. My eyes twitching so bad. Hey, look, there was an eye on the floor right when I said that. I'm gonna fix the water for the pony. Water for the pony. I just wanna fix the water for the pony. I don't think I know how to fix this. Green light. Nope, that's a red light. Did it turn red after I flipped that switch or did it turn green or stay green? It is one green light right there. Another green light. What's over a mirror? Nothing. Okay. I feel like a hamster. That's what I feel like. Don't know why that's the thoughts that come to my head when I see this, but it feels like a hamster. It worked! Fix your water problem. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I'm sorry, pony. Alright, I guess we're going back to the bathroom. To unclog this monster toilet. 
Oh god. Miss Sanderson? I fixed your toilet. I think they're implying that Larry killed her. Oh, there's footsteps. Nope, not no more. What's over here? Let's go exploring and find out. Now we're walking in the dark. Hey, Charlie. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Is it your pony collection? Oh. I know you touched my pony. Oh, don't say it like that. I thought we were friends, Sal. Touchy, touchy. Are we in jail? Episode two, the wreck, the wretched, the wrecked, the wretched, the wretched. Man, you still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life, and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. You gonna show me... Oh, there's a staircase. Oh. How's your mom feel about your bedroom being right next to an outdoor area for you just to sneak off whenever you wanted? Whoa, how come you ever told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Awesome. Do you think it has a murder weapon up here? This is so cool. I always wanted a tree house when I was younger, so did I. Yeah, my dad built this for uh, for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? He, what do you mean by disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next he was just gone. No, 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 nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly ever fought or anything. It isn't what it sound like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom cho chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know, I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but... I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before you disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy as if I need another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible, though, that poor bunny. Anyway, so as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got the super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. Okay, if you don't believe in ghosts, then why do you believe this demon exists? I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Well, hold on, man. Even if it was some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for everything bad that thing happens. It's not all your fault. 
He's trying to tell us he murdered Mrs. Sanderson. What did the demon look like? It was nothing like I've seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had this form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear I've seen it in the building, just like when you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghost. See if we can get into the uh, get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing el um nothing to lose. Except you know your soul, but no big deal. Aw. Huh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not before, or not long before he disappeared. I better keep looking. Wait, what? Nothing useful in there. Oh, okay, I see the Gear Boy now. I didn't before. Oh. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years or ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful, though. Let's see what else is in there. A, a worn leather jacket. There's a couple old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to a live one. There's some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. Take. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. I got a box. Just let me know if you get it opened. Of course. Alright, I think that's it here. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Um, what was I doing? Was I talking to him? I don't even remember. I'm getting pretty cold. We should be getting back inside. Ready when you are. Alright, yeah. So we're gonna go down. So we found this box of his dad's, and we're gonna track him down with the demon or something? I'm very confused on that part, but hey, I am just in the story for the story, right? I guess? I don't know. Go inside. There's no signal here. Oh, I pressed shift. My bad. Hey, Larry. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I have sort of... I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Welcome, bro. Duh. Oh, God. That's a pretty scary picture you have going there, sir. Pretty artistic and stuff. Um, did you ever tape that new uh, Sandy's Fall song? Yeah, man. You want to hear it? Yes. You know, a new song? Oh, it's just like instant. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be all right. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Bye, bro. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be bright as rain. Which is good, because there's so much work to be done, I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been help um, so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. I hope she doesn't die. That was a really weird thing to say, but hey, you know what? This game's kind of dark, so I'm going to go with it. Hello, bathroom.
All right, let's see. Oh, God, the vending machine. Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Did you eat all of the snacks, Chug? Chug, what are you up to? Hey, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico, uh, Rico, oh, Rico's Modern Wife? Mod modish Wife episode? Yeah. That was great. I love that show. Me too. Aw, I miss that show. The actual show, not that. Really? You keep sleeping their clothes in here. Take their money. Take their clothes. Doesn't look like anything I can uh, use right now. Right? Meow. Alright, where should we go first? Uh, let's check out floor one. Let's just go from the bottom up. I don't think anyone lives here. Oh, they have security cameras everywhere now. So many security cameras. Probably after someone got murdered in here. <laughs> How may I help you, Sal? Uh, what's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um... Oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all. Though, I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a few security systems put in. For everyone's safety, with the, new, with the recent re events of the tenants, we're getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with the new state-of-the-art security system, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for c catching me up on that. My pleasure. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my attendants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was just, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stresses at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Good day. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just want to talk to you. To me? All right, then. The door's open. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like you yourself to see an old woman? Hi, Mrs. Runsberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all we've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I'll never really have the grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here all alone. The mind can drift... A great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, it's an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask me? How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I'll return to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around and trust me when I say, I've tried. Yes, a powerful and dreaded empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Mr. Romberg. I've asked how long you lived in the Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell it to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share my the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever happens to the rest of the family? Do they live around the town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now. 
but that's not that's how I see him. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked up in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confiding himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful pa persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortune, but aren't we all, dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you ever seen any ghosts in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such things as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose or do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know. Yes, yes. It's quite tempting. Oh, by oh shit. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next, such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casing, any small mishap could send us reeling into eternity in a blink of an eye. Okay, uh, thanks, bye! Oh, good, she's gonna let me go without saying much more. Okay, good. Oh my god. That was, uh, hard. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. I can still hear the music. Alright, let's go to floor two. Todd's place. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Are you doing science experiments in there? Sawing someone in half? Oh god, it's worse than I thought. Or, you know, renovating the place, whatever. My mind tends to go the darker route. The people that lived here moved out after what happened to Charlie. Oh god. You can actually go in Charlie's old place? I wonder who got all of his ponies. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. But who got all of Charlie's ponies? These are simple questions that I want answered right away. Oh, hi, Sal. What young's up to today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. Do ghosts in my past keep me awake at night? Also time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about, like, a spirit of someone that used to live here? Sally Young's gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me. You'll have a better life for it. Don't make me do- uh, Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? <laughs> Drugs. Drugs happen to my pants. Oh, well, they're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them, but, um, uh, but we just got to talking. Not, you know? Lost track of time. Okay, bye. It was kind of hard to follow him a little. They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't even bother them. Oh, they're college students. They're <laughs> That's their name, just college students. Robert's place? He must not be home. Damn it, Robert! I just want to have one civilized conversation with you. Oh. Oh. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. Oh, the camera was supposed to be there and it's gone. How are we supposed to be secured if there's no camera watching the door where the lady got murdered? I'd like to know that. <laughs> What you watching, buddy? Gizmo watching cops episode. Typical gizmo. Oh, wow. Someone needs to change gizmo's litter box. But look, everything's unpacked now. Oh, look, I have a bedroom and everything. 
Who's letting the cat listen to that uh, music that loud? Vampire Hunter 3, she lives. Twin Park, or Twin Parks. Edward Shovel Hands. Hey, Dad. Your room's get looking pretty nice there, Father. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, so I have to make this deadline for work. Okay, bye, Dad. Damn cat, leaving the um, TV on so loud. All right, so it looks like I can't open that door, or that door, or this door. Before I was able to knock, but now I, I don't even have that option. They're taking that option from me. Oh no, I could still press it. What is I doing? Well, normally it pops up. Oh god, is this the right f door? I don't know, but it's it's dark, and it's kind of gotten me freaked out. What what happened to this bird? What happened to this bird cage? What about this door? Locked. Okay, well um, time to go in the five oh four. I should call Larry up here so you can meet Megan. Then you'll have to believe Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. Her medicine, or he killed her? So what is you want to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. It's boarded shut. That's where the demon lives. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you there? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She'd be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while now. I hope she's okay. So you came out to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you're crazy, man. As weird as this shit is, I believe you, okay? You're my best friend, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who you should go talk with? Todd. He probably is the smartest kid I know, and he's also into supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd, really? Huh. I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... normal? Rational? Yeah. I guess so. Okay, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Megan? Was Larry just freaking you out? Probably. Larry freaks me out sometimes, too. All right, Todd was on floor three or two. Good try, two. All right, we found Todd's place. Anyways, guys, if you liked this video, press that like button. If you want to watch more of my videos, press the subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Thursday, sometimes on Friday, and actually all of October. I keep screwing that up. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.